Greetings, I am Lies. <laughs> I'm scared. And let's, let's play, play a game, game together. together. Yes. Hi, are you okay? I'm fine. I'm just thinking of wave birds going right. out everywhere, being indicative of the birthing process. It's fine. That's all. It's fine. All right. I mean, <clears throat> you're not just here for eye candy, as I assumed you would be in all possible ways. And that eye candy could never have any more substance than simply being that thing. Despite Rosewood's entire reputation being on nurses that only look, act, and are sexy with no other redeeming values of any kind. <gasps> you, were, you work so hard to take care of patients. I never us assumed. Patients. Us patients. Sorry, us, us patients. Pa I never assumed that any of you would do any job other than look sexy. And pole dance. At all. And just be sexy and do sexy and have This is so fucking derogatory. Sexy. You sound a, like, like someone who doesn't understand how sexy works. That you just are sexy. That you like, just have se You be sexy. Wow, I just never thought you would be a human person at all. Other than, uh, like, just being sexy. Louisa, never... that is not as good of a compliment as you would like it to be. Yes! Smart ass. You actually do a real job. Other than just sex work, which at this age I don't acknowledge or understand as a job. But you actually are nurses. Oh. Do you know you're actually nurses? You're not just eye candy. Why, mister... So, huh? so many deaths. So uh... good. Hearing that from you, I just recognize how much of a child you are. Indeed. It's okay. It it means a lot to me in my way of performing for you that I continue to do so and also continue to perform all of my nurse, my CNA duties as well. Mm, certified nurse duties, just nurse duties. CNAs are separate. Are they? Because they're yes. certified nursing. Oh, sorry, CNAs are certified Cert nurses. Assistant. Assistant. I yeah. keep forgetting that. Blah, blah, blah. She's, she's an, an NA. Yeah, she is an NA. Oh, she's an RN. RN. Registered she's a nurse. registered nurse. RN, Thank you. Not NA. Wow. Sorry. So there's a lot of, there's a lot of, of, of RN. Ones. Her being an RN, we can do this. We don't work at a hospital, clearly. I, uh, All right. I, this means a lot to me. I would say it means a lot to you that a child with no instruction or understanding or context other than what's been just in front of his face is able to come to that conclusion on his own. And while it might be a sort of a less of a compliment than it could be, he did come to the understanding that you're not just pretty, you're actually a person. And while that might seem basic, it is still nonetheless important. Because some people do not come to that understanding. And it is a thing to be aware of, but again, I'm like, the dialogue here is so fucking unnatural. Like, I'm not a 16-year-old. Thank you. <sighs> so, can I return your question, I yeah. ask as a question? Do you like me? Say you like me. Do you? What do you like about your job? Is it me? Oh do you God. like me about your job? Please, job me. I need so much job from you. What's the best part of working here in Rosewood for you? I mean, just in, in general, if someone was applying for a job in, 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 indirectly, what's just the best part of having this job of working here at Rosewood? Uh. Louisa pauses. To think for an answer. Think for an answer. She needs to think for an answer. Think for an Grasping for an answer. She just has to think for one, not think, think about, about an answer. answer. I, I, that's almost like, again, it sounds like somebody who kind of knows the language, knows the language, or knows the language fairly well, but is like, yeah, this is a normal way of talking about it. This is, again, and not... Again, I feel like almost at this point that it almost I almost feel afraid that I'm like mocking translation and I don't mean to do that in no. any way. Like that's not the intention here. So I'm just putting that out there. That's not my intention. But that doesn't mean that going, that, yeah. this feels awkward and it is poor translation. It doesn't yeah. mean like it's, it, it doesn't mean that I'm trying to bag on anyone's language skills. This is a professional published game that asks for real money. Like, it doesn't necessarily get it, but it asks for it. Uh-huh. There's also that thing, though, too, that my friend has also discussed. Sometimes what requires, like, it's that thing about doing your research. And sometimes what you need to do if you're going to be writing a book where, let's say, a language that you want to use is not your first language or a culture that you want to use is not your culture, going out and asking people before you make 
potentially you strange it. choices like this mm -hmm. is a good thing of going like, hey, so this thing, and you have somebody read it, and they go through it, and they go, okay, so this sounds really unnatural. And you go, huh? What? So again, yeah. at one point, um, when I worked on Fiverr a few years ago, because I was I was trying to sort of, I, I was trying to, to figure out voice acting there, and it ended up being a little bit too arduous in the um, home situation I had, which was frustrating. So I didn't, I haven't gone back to it yet, or since. Anyway, um, there was an experience of, like... Just lost my point because I get distracted by something. Uh, I, oh, oh, of working with someone in Germany yep. who was um, doing a, a children's book series simultaneously in German and English, same series, mm -hmm. and sending me stuff to perform the English stuff. And I ended up communicating with her and going, you know, when dialogue felt weird or when the writing felt strange or when something had context in Germany but it didn't in America. And I actually learned some, some fun culture stuff at that time because it was a series of tooth fairy books. And um, I don't know if the books are, are still around, but I, I did voice them so anyway mm. it was kind of cool i did at least like five in the series right i would say anyway um and i was the, the the english voice actor but she actually ended up working with me on editing and buying editing services from me as well and it was kind of cool because like as soon as i told her what i thought it should sound like it's like think of an answer instead of think for she was like oh no i get that but it's like you didn't notice it until it was it was like it wasn't clear until it was pointed out because you didn't have enough language familiarity mm. but then as soon as someone says does this sentence sound more natural and you go Oh, based on what I've heard, it totally does. But when I'm just straight out translating, sometimes that's what falls into place. Mm, right. And so I think I think that sort of thing would help games like this. Just have somebody who English is their first language read the English draft after you've done your translations and make suggestions. Right, exactly. You know, that kind of thing. Think for an answer. The best part? It's the people I meet every single day. And one of those people is me, right? Of course. You're right. a people. Uh, I've attended to hundreds of patients and their families. Hundreds, even thousands. We need to dig in that she is a mature adult woman. She'd been doing this for a while. It's real important to know that Louisa is the oldest and the most experienced nurse here. And also going, I have just done so much. And it's really important for you to recognize that what I'm going to do is validate you and go, but you, you have stood out to me amongst these hundreds. No, nay. Thousands, nay, thousands, uh, nay, thousands of individuals, that. hundreds, nay, thousands. Yeah, because that happens. <laughs> but I never get tired of learning from them. What if she doesn't call us out individually? That'd be amazing. Honestly, that would be wild. Take Irma, for example. We already know she's one of the. <gasps> oh my God, Rina and Irma are both one of the nicest people the on earth. Sounds. I can't put it down. It sounds so fucking unnatural. Anyway, we already know she's one of the nicest people on earth. So when you told me I was going into wait, sorry, when Miki told me I was going into a room with the nicest person on earth, she didn't mean Rena. She meant Irma. You mean Rena's not the nicest person on earth? She's just one we of the nicest people I'll ever meet. No, no. Nicest people on earth, one of, one of, one of, honey. Oh, we have two of the nicest people on all of the earth here in the yeah, hospital? Yeah, because I've clearly met a massive percentage of, you know, the, the people eight on or nine earth. billion people that are on the earth's surface. Mm -hmm. But I know deep down that there's plenty more we can learn from her. Are you talking about medical experimentation on Rena? Oh, I'm talking about Irma right now, hon. Are you going to be doing medical experimentation on Irma? Oh, oh, well, you don't need to know that. It's okay, honey. It's not a thing you need to be concerned with. You just need to really recognize that she's the nice, one of the nicest people on Earth. Oh, wait. You mean you can learn things from her socially so that, like, you're kind of a bitch compared to how nice she is. Exactly. Cool. Now I understand that. But, but you're not a bitch compared to normal people, just compared to the nicest people on Earth. Yeah, exactly. I got it. Thank uh -huh. you for yeah. that. Mm. Mothers are the best, right? All mothers everywhere are the best. This is so generic. Oh my God. I feel like you could put this line anywhere. I just, I like for any story. Anyway. Mothers are the, it's also, it's like one of those comedians trying in one of those bad comedy movies that plays on basically the embarrassment of characters for laughs, mm -hmm. where they're basically in an awkward conversation where they don't understand what's happening. They don't have context. They've ended up in the wrong place, you know, but like mistaken identity kind of thing. And right. someone's like, blah, blah, blah. This person, they just go, mothers are the best. Right? Yeah! Yay! Yeah. yeah. That's what that it's, feels like. Again, to me. very artificial, bizarre still. Yeah, dialogue. and then their friend, who's also in the mistaken identity pool with them, going, They are! Yes! yes! Go, moms! And everyone in the in the group is going, What? Hi. Hi. Your enthusiasm. Sh sure, good, good for you. Mm. 
they my are. lizard brain says you have enthusiasm, so I should go along with this. So you're probably meant to. You're probably correct. Louisa stands straight. So she was leaning over the bed while she was washing the sheets. Got yeah. it. Okay. She was leaning over the bed. She's been leaning over the bed this in this time. pose with her booty out the entire time, washing the sheets by hand. Mm -hmm. Um, Why however not? that works while they're still on the bed, or maybe she just put them into a wash bin and she's leaning over and scrubbing them in that washboard scrub motion. God, if you could see me, I'm ridiculous. But I, that's why it's so bad. All right. All right. And the bed has been fixed because it was not broken. cleaned, fixed, you know, not remade, fixed. fixed. I just rearranged it for you. She uh, pauses. reassembled. She pauses as she stands straight eyes betraying a certain longing for sleep on that bed a certain longing a longing to be less of a bitch like Irma is <sighs> what kind of longing is she supposed to be betraying I just you were in that bed and and my I just, long you were for naked. your experience in that bed I guess I'm not even sure what this is supposed to be betraying but she's suddenly blushing and like I'm just like is it longing is where have we moved from nice people versus learning from people versus I don't like like we can keep learning every single day and you know mm. what's the longing connected to oh, the bed oh. she's quiet too quiet but the music continues playing so there's nothing ominous about it yep completely it's completely normal completely natural it's quiet too quiet too quiet yes there's that line what does that look mean? Do we get to choose what it means? Oh, God. Oh, my God. She talks about mothers, and all of a sudden, oh, my God, this is a line of her wanting her own baby. Are that you? is what this is. This is her going, if only I were a mother, then I could be, you know, keep learning from the new no. person in my Hang life. On. No, Hang on. no. If you forget, if she's supposed to be the mom character, she might actually already have her own kids. Maybe. That would be interesting. I assume this is a longing for motherhood and somehow bed relates to motherhood. But she talks about mothers and all of a sudden she seems sentimental. Is she, is she a mom? Maybe. Secretly dreaming to become a mother someday? I told Ooh. you, it's the mother fantasy of she wants to be a mom. Of, oh my god, we are talking to this level of fetish. Okay, again, I have... I'm not looking to shame anybody, but holy sh... It's one of those things of just kind of critiquing, going, is this necessary? But again, if this is supposed to be the kind of game it is, then yeah, of course it's necessary. But my problem is going, you've tried so hard to have anything but... To have to push us towards Rena, basically. Uh-huh, and also go, nope, this isn't a nurse fetish thing, and not at all. We have nothing going on. This is completely pure and innocent, and we just happen to have sexy I women suddenly, here. I suddenly want to pick her at the end, um, because I'm suddenly just like, if there's a final scene, will she be pregnant with her 16-year-old husband? Oh, God. <sighs> Oh. Or oh my when God. I finish high school, we become married. You know, uh, we become the married. I oh I don't know. God. All right. Is she secretly dreaming of becoming a mother someday? someday? By looking at your bed, uh -huh. she's thinking of a child. So you really are not even on the list. You are, she's going, you are a baby. And you're going, she is hot. I would fuck her and knock her up. Okay, but also, <gasps> also think about it this way. Her going, I, the moms are so amazing. Go moms, amazing moms. Looking at your bed, if only he was my child. If only I'd already raised a child. And you go, there's, is she dreaming about getting boned and therefore pregnant? I mean, having a baby which comes from sex? I mean, him, teenager, lizard brain. And her going, you know, I could have raised a kid like him. Completely non-sexually. Uh, yeah, not even thinking of him in that way at all. I... Should I ask her about it? Is it a premium scene? Oh my god. I bet it is. I think my whole soul's going to come out of my nose. <laughs> your soul's going to ooze out through your feet. <sighs> I, it's just going to become so thin, have such a low level of viscosity, it's going to drain out through your pores. I'm fine. I feel that it's something she wants to talk about. God, okay. such a Is she thinking this? I feel like she wants to talk about this. That doesn't work, but 
I feel like whatever's on her mind she should want to talk about would be way more like is something on her mind. It feels like she wants to say something or it feels like she wants to talk, not talk about it. Otherwise, it says she is and psychically we know dreaming about a mother. Is she dreaming about being a mother? Maybe she wants to talk about that she's dreaming about it. I don't agree. Yeah. I could be wrong, though. Oh, there is an option for you could be wrong. So what's it going to be? Who asks themselves in their head as they're preparing to make a conversational choice? She is she thinking this? It seems like she wants to talk about this. But what if I'm wrong? So what's it going to be me at me? Like, who does that? (laughs) Ask Louisa if she wants to become a mother. Don't even try to ask. You know what? Oh, my God. I am a little bit torn between he would ask and he'd be too embarrassed. I love how the music stops because the musician is reading your mind going, holy shit, why is that your question? Why is that what's on your mind? Also, did you Uh, just refer to possibly beds and sex in reference to becoming a mother? Or were you thinking about kids and mother? Or what was all of that? Makes the bed, size, could be homemaker, could be child and mother thing, could be, I could be in your bed with you. And like, being a mother. I can't even imagine sometimes what it's like for some individuals where they're really just like, I'm just kind of having a quiet experience. And the other person going, that's clearly what you're thinking about. And they just ask you. Because, like, I've heard some horror stories where people are like, they just ask some really fucking weird questions. This customer, this patient. And you're just like, holy shit, my dudes. And you're like, that is not what was on them. Don't you ever think about incredibly personal and deeply, you know, individual journey? Like, a lot. You. I was literally considering as to whether or not I should price the meat now because it's a little close to my lunch break, but not there yet. Or if I should do some shorter task and then go to my lunch break and price it afterwards. Yeah, so you looked really thoughtful. So aren't you thinking about the meaning of life and how sexuality plays into that? Because I think you're kind of hot. So any question is going to, even if it's bigger and means more, it's going to also have sex tied into it. You're like, I, okay. That thing about, again, workers basically being stuck in a customer service, particularly as far as I've seen women. Now, that's not to say that I that I am pretty solidly sure. So what I've mostly heard is basically women complaining mm-hmm. or individuals who are aligned to supposedly be of the women persuasion. Or the randomly people asking you about your sexuality or orientation. Yeah, and you're yeah. like, what? Okay. I'm at work. So I think... I think he would just ask her because at this point he's been asking more questions and engaging more, becoming more comfortable in general. And I think he's also started to display a little bit more curiosity, a tiny bit more about the nurses instead of just Rena. So I think he would ask her. Okay. But I think he would kind of blurt it out in that kind of way of going, what's it going to, because the what's it going to be sounds like a ramping yourself up for something. Right. Like what's it going to be me at me. And instead of asking a question like what's on your mind What are you thinking about? We're going to, in that sort of invasive and direct way, like not offer to shake their hand, but shake their Their hand. hand. Yeah. This isn't going to be ask her what she's thinking about. It's going to be ask her if she wants to become a mother. Maybe she wants to talk about whatever it may be. I'm assuming. She has been silent and wistful and blushy for a few seconds now while standing very straight in front of me and next to my bed. Perfect. Um, Louisa, she stopped blushing as soon as we spoke to her. Oh, that dear. was amazing. And the music. Doo, <laughs> doo, oh, it's doo. even worse, though. Aha. Uh-huh. Right. Louisa suddenly snapped out of her reverie. She must have been thinking about something that made her blush. Oh, what? Did I do something wrong? What's the matter? Seems like a really extreme reaction for Louisa. Um. <laughs> uh. I, I snicker. What? What? I snicker. I snicker. <laughs> I'm also like, uh... Are you... You are quite the perfectionist, aren't you? Are we gonna fucking Are make we gonna forever? ask this question or not? Oh. Uh, huh? What do you mean by that? That is the stiffest set of bed sheets I've ever seen. I could bounce a quarter off of that. Just like I could bounce a quarter off of... I shouldn't say that. <sighs> okay, so how they... The reason why I didn't like Snicker is because of this definition. Give a half-suppressed, typically scornful laugh. Uh-huh. Snickering is not friendly. It's derogatory. Yeah, no, it is. It's like when they talked about, um, when they used the other term that we talked about, and I forget what it was, but it was also in reference to laughing, of going, or no, no, it was it was a, not, a, a, not a grin, um, the, the smirk. It was the smirk one, remember? Yeah. When we talked about, you know, mm-hmm. she's not smirking, and it's yep. like, whoa, or there's a smirk on her face. I was like, 
Okay, so what do you mean by that? I... You're not used to getting caught daydreaming. I have the upper hand. Oh, God. I snicker derogatorily at her. Thanks. You know, honestly, the way she stands and the way they draw her, I always think of her as being like six feet tall with her shoes on. Ah, right. Like like six or six foot two kind of thing. And then with a the little cap, maybe like six foot three, six foot four uh-huh. kind of thing. Like she is a, a tall. She is, hi, I am over you. You got boobs in your face. Yeah, pretty much. She's a very uh-huh. tall person, which yes. is fine. There are very tall women and they should have more of them, damn it. You're always too focused on the job. So you just, I... Where is this fucking going? Apparently to the, you want to be a mom? That's a weird This setup. is so controlling. What the shit? Take a break sometimes. I know like better than you. Like when you just did. It helps a lot to not be so focused on your job. And what do the it so shit? Well. This is so manipulative. What? And the only thing I have this focused on. This is nagging. I... Maybe. Like, we're starting to get into the thing of going, you clearly have a problem, honey. I'm going to invalidate should take a br- you. Yeah. Uh-huh. Like, what? I got to bring you down to my level. You're clearly, you're distracted. You shouldn't do that. You should take a break sometimes. I'm like, like it or might going, not be exactly, but this the other is nasty. Way, or the other way of going, the fact that you did finally take a break, that was right and appropriate. You shouldn't be so secretive about your daydreaming and you're wanting to get, you know, out and think of other things. Oh, God. You can't focus on work all the time. See, you just proved it. I've complimented you on nothing but your professionalism and your integrity and your skills on the job. I've thought about nothing else in reference to you but how much job and good you are at job. And now I'm going, look, see how it's really important that you don't job sometimes because I just saw you not jobbing? Clearly, it's very valuable and you need that. This is so worth. So we're going to find out if taking a break sometimes helps, helps a lot in the next one. one. So thank you very much for joining us because, yeah, wow. Uh, uh, if you like what we do, please feel free to like, comment, subscribe, and also please feel free to share our videos if you're having a good time with us. Please also feel free to go check out our Ko-Fi or Patreon. We've got some links in the description down below. Yep. And I have been Scandal. And I have been Lies. And, and it, it was great, great playing with you. Bye. Bye.